go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ. Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 49, and this is war number 12, last war of the season. And we're going against an alliance called Extra Marvel. Alright, let's see. Who did they ban? They banned Bishop again. No surprise. Uh, Kushala and Havoc. Interesting. All right. See what they got planned for us. Path three. Okay, so Odin is, is the first one up. And I've taken him with uh, Namor in the past. Then we've got future Ant-Man. And of course, I like to take him with Hulkling. And let's see. Now, neither of these two actually benefit from the node. So just a, a counter would be fine. And ooh, Wolfman is over there. And let's see what else we got. Ooh, and we have a gladiator. Interesting. And he's, uh, hmm. I guess Claire, maybe? Claire could probably take him. I don't see a problem there. And as far as Wolfman goes, could take him too. Um, provided that he is not Magic Thief, still remembering Silver Surfer. Um, I kind of want to bring Corvus. I think Corvus can take that. Mm. So if I brought, see, if I brought Namor, it'd only be for this Odin. Let me think. And see, he's immune to the nullify and all that. Claire can do it, but let's see. Dagger. See, he's not immune to armor break, so Corvus could do it, but because of the magic thief, it would be very dicey to try and do that. Because if he got the indestructible, I'd have no way of getting rid of it, and that would be a done fight. So I'm not bringing in a non um, ex magica attacker. Namor can definitely do it. We've done it before. If I brought Corvus in, Corvus could take... He can take this guy. It's a very good placement for him, though, because if you'll notice... He's immune to nullify, fate, seal, and stagger, right? Well, Corvus armor breaks. But the defender himself has an ability. Let's see, where is it? His armor up. Let's see. Indefinite. Okay, so I'd have to intercept to remove it, which I could do.
But see this right here? If the armor up fails to trigger, so that's a stagger, or ability accuracy, something or other, or is removed for any reason other than an intercept, then replace it with a passive. And you see down here, the passives count as armor up buffs and are not removed by armor break. So it's a really good one. Basically, Hulkling would be the safe bet there. So Hulkling, Hulkling could do both of these fights as well. Um, so I could bring in Hulkling, I can bring in Namor for this Odin, and I could bring in Corvus to handle these two fights here if they let me do both of those fights. So I think that's what we will do. Corvus, Hulkling, and Namor. All right. Let's get to the fighting. All right, we going in with Hulkling, Namor, and Corvus. And we do get a chance to fight the boss. So we'll end the season with a boss fight. All right, but first, we got to get through the path. First fight up is going to be against Odin. And you guys already know how we do. And I still am not trying to push him to a special two. Not after that time I tried to evade and I didn't and then got one shot. Like, no, 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 no. We're not doing that again, all right? Any other time I fought Odin, we haven't had any problems, right? So we're gonna keep it that way. So I'm boosting up using those nice little uh, six hour boosts. Thanks to the changes to the um, ouchy masteries, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, you see that I'm starting to use the, uh, health boosts now as well. They no longer hurt if you're running the ouchy masteries and actually are a benefit. So, uh, any chance I get that I remember, cause I'm so used to not using them, I will, uh, put one on. Now, here we go. Namor against Odin. Namor is Ex Magica. And this fight is pretty simple, straightforward. Because my Namor is Sig 200, he reflects any damage while he's attacking onto the attacker. On this particular node, if the opponent has an armor up buff, they're going to power burn you. And when you get power burned, you're going to take damage. So he's not power burn immune or anything like that. But as you can see, he's not taking any damage while he's attacking. And Odin is taking all the damage that he would have taken had he not been able to reflect it all. Now, you can do this with a Namor that is lower sig you know, less than max sig, but just know that he's gonna take some damage. He'll reflect some of it, just not all of it. He needs to be sig 200 to reflect all of it. All right, so pretty quick and easy, simple fight. As long as the inputs don't fail us, we are not gonna have a problem with that. Okay, now, with this fight, I brought in Hulkling. And you guys have seen me do Hulkling, right, against future Ant-Man. But because we're going to be using Corvus, I want to get this charge. So I boosted up with the invulnerability. And as you can see, we're just chewing him up. I'm trying to get him to attack so I can uh, intercept him. See, see how he's dashing backwards rather than attacking me. I'm like, all right, whatever. You just, whatever the AI want to do. Now he dexed out of my, my attack. The AI is crazy. They really need to do something, okay? But we got him down without any difficulty. 
But that's really annoying. It really is. Um, especially when you're trying to get an intercept with future Ant-Man, especially, because that's how you can remove his armor ups uh, easily. But you can't intercept if he's not going to attack, if he's always constantly backing away from you and blocking. Can you do? Now, this one, I didn't realize, but Mantis is Avengers. Didn't realize that. So I'm going to get another charge. And I was already going to take her with um, Corvus. She doesn't get any armor ups. So she does not benefit from this node. All right. And we're just basically chewing her up, not letting her even finish her <laughs> her moves, just taking her down. All right, so that's two charges for Corvus. All we would have needed was a, a mutant and something else. Okay, now this fight was an educational one. I don't really fight Wong. And so I was not familiar with his uh, particular mechanic. So I went in with Hulkling, which is not a good uh, matchup. All right. Now you can see I'm chewing him up, right? And I'm like, all right, we got this. I'm not seeing any problem. All right. Just bait out his specials, I'm thinking. All right. Now I need him to block so I can get that fun... Um, one. Boom. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, and then he intercepts me. All right. I'm like, okay. Boom. And then he intercepts me again. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm trying to get him. I'm like, block. So the opposite problem that we had before. I threw that special out of desperation. The opposite problem. Now I want him to be passive and he won't be. You saw that, right? I'm like, block. Now he won't block. All right. But I'm in trouble here. <clears throat> Look at the unstoppables. Okay, I'm trying to get him to block. He's still not blocking. All right, still not blocking. Look at, still not blocking. He just refuses to block now. So I'm like, all right, I'll just go in a little bit. See, now I'm scared right there. I don't know what to do. Because every time I've attacked him, he either went unstoppable or he, he um, intercepted me. And see, look at all that unstoppable. And I'm like, wait, what, am I going to be able to get to do anything? So I just fired that off like a Hail Mary, but boom. So let me explain why Hulkling is a bad matchup for Wong. For those of you who don't know, Wong has a chance to go unstoppable based on the number of buffs you get, including the dexterity buff, uh, the precision buff from dexterity. So Hulkling, who is very buff dependent, horrible. Okay. Now, of course, I could have just gone in with Corvus and taken him out. Okay. But I didn't know. I do now. A better option for that would have been someone who doesn't even gain buffs. Titania would have destroyed him. Okay. I would have just kept on baiting out the specials and we would have been good. All right. Now. Next up, <clears throat> we got Werewolf by Night. And I've never had a real big problem fighting Werewolf by Night. I know he's great on offense. But on defense, I've not really had any real major issues. Early on, when he first came in, I did because I didn't know his animations. And I'd try to dash in at the wrong time and get wrecked, you know? But once I, I learned his uh, animations and everything, he didn't seem to be that much of a problem. See, just wait that out. Now that time I messed up because I was reading the wrong thing. <laughs> All right, just medium light, medium, medium light, medium. All right, now this messed me up because I got a buff so I got power drain and so at this point I'm like okay I'm not going to try to get to my special two because that's what I was trying to do why I 
got the um, boost to help me up. But I'm like, you know what? I don't really need that. As you can see, just take him down. All right. Next fight is going to be Corvus against the boss Onslaught. Okay. And that fight was ugly. That's all I got to say. Corvus did Corvus things. All right. So be right back. All right, so we are here. We have my guildmate put the um, white mags pre-fight on, guidance boost. That, even though the boss is stun immune, if you're metal or hero, you get a 15% attack boost. Now, I don't know how the diminishing returns um, affect all of this, but for Corvus, more attack is good. So he put that on. You see I'm boosting up here. And I, of course, am running the uh, ouchie masteries and all that good stuff. And you can see I'm putting on the big boosts. 200% cosmic power back boost and a 12% special damage boost. Okay. And then I'm going to put on the advanced power boost. This is a charged up Corvus. This is what gives folks nightmares when you have Corvus on your team. Okay. I heal him up and all that good stuff. And I'm raring to go. All right. So I'm going to get out your way and let you guys enjoy this fight. Go! Corvus lost shadow on the mic. I play the land, never to lose. In the contest of champions, I'm the one they choose. Swipe, swipe, tap, my moves are slick. Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick. Class champ, I'm the master of the game. Cosmic science, skill tech, mutant, I claim. Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite. Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world. I'm the king crown, so listen up. Here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the grind track fan. With every battle, I rise. I never fall in the marble contest. I stand tall. Wasn't that filthy? Ugh. All right. We'll be back in a minute, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and the last war of the season is a win. So we finished the season on a nice high note, a nice little win. Unfortunately, it looks like we're still going to be in Platinum 4. So anyway, uh, let's take a look here. Uh, not really that close. Shout out to our MVPs as always. And that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. What did you think about Corvus going off on that Onslaught boss? All right, take care. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol In the fight he swift, his tactics be tight Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown oh, oh.